a raise the uh, qualifying income ceiling to allow more people to buy executive condominiums in UHDB flats. That's the call of the chairman of the government parliamentary committee for national development, Li Biwa, who says more middle-income couples are feeling the squeeze. And she said this ahead of the budget statement on Monday. Olivia Xiong with more. The last time HDB raised the qualifying income ceiling for home buyers was in 2011. Then the monthly income ceiling for those buying a build-to-order flat was raised from eight to ten thousand dollars, while the limit for those buying executive condominiums went up from ten to twelve thousand dollars. But amid rising incomes, there have been calls for the ceiling to be lifted further by two to three thousand dollars. They get married later, but the time they apply for flat, uh, their ceiling, uh, their salary will have exceeded the ceiling. If they hit the ceiling, they are forced to buy uh, private housing. And some of them really feel the squeeze, especially if they need to support their parents and support their grandparents. Ms. Lee has also called for more to be done to help divorcees with children and low-income families own a flat. She also says the government could look at allocating more BTO flats to singles. Currently, about a third of two-room flats in non-mature estates are set aside for them. Due to pent up demand, uh, there's still uh, quite a big number of applicants for every batch of uh, uh, flats that is for sale for singles. I think we can tweak, we can perhaps increase the quota because the demand from uh, first timers have eased. Property cooling measures are another issue on the minds of many. And more National Development Minister Corbyn Wan has said some of these measures are temporary. The market has to be cool enough for them to be relaxed. But industry experts say this is unlikely to happen soon. They note while prices have come down, they have not fallen drastically. Last year, overall prices of HDB resale flats fell by 6%, while those of private homes fell by 4%. Analysts add other factors should also be taken into account. You will look at the number of property transactions, whether there's indication there is a fall in the volume. They should look at also the number of mortgages still it may have gone down, uh, indicating there's some problem now with some of the owners who have bought high, you know. Uh, they also would, of course, overall thing they were to look at the economy. Uh, not only the local, you know, also the external, the global economy. One analyst says the impact on the real estate industry should also be considered. If you look at some of the uh, transactions, they're very low. Um, so agents are not having enough income, the bankers, the valuers, not enough work. The market to these people maybe have, have, have been frozen. So Mr Tan said the government could look into helping those who want to upgrade. The measures while hampering speculators are also having the same impact on the genuine upgraders. So maybe you could look at some of the measures and tweak them and say, look, for if you are a genuine upgrader, we would... Uh, we do not impose the stamp duty up front. We give you six months. Or we grant you the full um, mortgage loan as it was your first property. Because you're, you're going to sell your current property. Providing greater assurance for the elderly is also a theme in this year's budget. And MPs and experts add more could be done to educate seniors on the existing options to help them monetize their flat.